The Royal British Legion is launching its 2022 poppy appeal this morning. The campaign has raised hundreds of millions of pounds for serving and former members of the armed forces and their families since the end of the First World War. Well, our national reporter Paul Hawkins has more. Uh, Paul, a very good morning. Yeah, morning, Rosie. Yeah, the Royal British Legion launching uh, its uh, appeal this year, uh, which will run through until uh, Remembrance Sunday on November the 13th uh, this year. And this is part of the uh, launch today, this uh, huge wall covered in poppies. And these circles representing a story, uh, the story of a family, of someone who's been lost in conflict and kind of how the Royal British Legion has helped them. And the poppies cover up the story. And then when you take off a poppy, it uh, uncovers the story. So here we have uh, the story of Imogen, whose dad uh, was, uh, is the uh, regimental corporal major of the Household Cavalry Regiment. So that's kind of how they're launching the poppy appeal this year. Let's, speak, let's get more information now from Andy, who's from the uh, Royal British Legion. Andy, really good to talk to you. First of all, just tell us very quickly, what, what does the Royal British Legion do? When we put our money in, in the tin and we take a poppy, where does it go? Well, we, we help uh, veterans, obviously, from both world, world wars, but also veterans today, our whole armed forces community, the family members who need our help. And, and it's very poignant this year because we, we've also uh, increased our demand uh, for requests for support because of cost of living. So we're helping veterans in, who are in trouble right now. Uh, but also, you know, it also goes on to the, the historical veterans who've been who fought in wars. And we really want people this year to be uh, wearing their poppy and just kind of showing that they care for that community um, because they've done some astonishing, astonishing things for us and, and, you know, a fabric of our society. Yeah, and, uh, I, I mean, are you worried that people may not be able to dip into their pockets as much as they would do in other times? We're incredibly respectful. You know, everyone's kind of tight budgets at the moment, but every penny that goes in, every, every swipe of the contactless machine on, on the appeal this year is going directly to help veterans who are in need right now past and present. So wearing your poppy really kind of shows you care for that armed force community. Many of people that we've never met and today's astonishing because we're hearing the live stories of, of people who've been uh, been in trouble and the Royal British Legion has helped. Yeah, well let's speak to one of those uh, now, Chantelle Wynne. Uh, Chantelle, uh, just first of all, tell us about your, your husband Ryan. So Ryan was in the TA and he got called up to go to Afghanistan in 2006. Before Ryan went to Afghanistan, he was easy going, placid, everything just went over his head. Family man, enjoyed going out with the family. And then when Ryan come back, he come back in the November, so all the fireworks were going off, so he'd be hiding under tables. He was more jumpy because he felt like he was back on the war zone. After a while, Ryan seemed to hit a brick wall. Um, and he wouldn't go out anywhere. He stopped in the house. Um, we'd go out walking at two, three o'clock in the morning because the walls were closing in on him. Um, and on the 10th of November 2015, Ryan had committed suicide. Me and my eldest daughter, Rosie, found Ryan hanging. I mean, <laughs> an incredibly difficult time then and, and still for you and your family. Yeah, our world was ripped upside down. Didn't know where to turn, hadn't got a clue. So someone mentioned speaking to the Royal British Legion. Me being naive thought the Royal British Legion was for the elder generation and not for us as a younger generation. It's totally wrong. I phoned the British Legion. They come out to me. They was that shoulder to cry on. They helped me fill out forms because of all the forms that you have to fill out. Um, they bought the kids a Christmas present because Ryan died in the November, so they knew that I didn't want to go out Christmas shopping. They bought food hampers for us. They took us on our first holiday just to regroup as a family again and just reconnect. They're yeah. amazing. And tell us a little bit, you've told us a bit about the effect that Afghanistan had on, on Ryan. Yeah. Tell us about what he was like before that. Ryan was just a real family man. We just, we did everything together. You know, I started going out with Ryan when I was 16 years old. So, you know, we were young sweethearts. So it was just a normal family, yeah. just doing the things that we all love together. Yeah. And then when he come back, that started to dwindle and it was mum taking Daisy to football and mum doing everything because Ryan just couldn't cope with the outside world. Yeah, and how, and how are you and the kids now? We're really good. We're, you know, we've got the support from the Royal British Legion um, and family, so we're really good. We got, you know, I, didn't, I wanted the kids down that right track and get them on the right road, which the Royal British Legion helped us with. Um, and we've got him on that support and Rosie's at university and Daisy's studying A-levels. So, yeah, 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 we're on a good path. 
And important to remember those who, who served in conflict like Ryan. Yeah, definitely. Remembrance Day to me is not just remembering those that we've lost, but also the sacrifices of all the men and women that have gone out there, you know, and lost limbs mentally, psychology, you know, just everything. Just, you know, they've missed the families for months. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just, and simple things like, where, you know, I'd got two young kids at home, I needed a pint of milk. You can't just go to the shop and get a pint of milk no. because no. you've got two young kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so the families just are put under, you know, they, yeah. they do so much for Think us. Think about the families as yeah. much as those who are serving. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, so thank you for speaking to us. Thank, thank, you. thank you as well, Andy. So, yeah, the poppy appeal running through until uh, November the uh, 13th uh, and the messages go out. And uh, when you put that money in the tin and you, and you buy that poppy, remember where the money's going. Remember not just those who are serving and who have served, but also the families as well.